I grow very tired of the survival of the toughest kind of mindset that I see so often coming from free speech absolutists. To me, it's rather a sick mindset. It, it, is, it is a mindset that lacks morality. It's this mindset that people who get bullied off a platform are merely just weak and pathetic. And yet some of these same people try to try to push, oh, diversity of mindset is so important. Well, if it's so important to you, then why do you think it's okay to chase some of these people off of a platform? I didn't chase them off the platform. Nothing I said, do, nothing I say can make anyone feel anything. That kind of shit. It, it, <laughs> um... No, you can't literally make someone feel in any particular way. But what tends to happen is when you treat someone like this, this is going to be the result. Okay, you can't expect everyone to become this tough-as-nails kind of person that is willing to, to put up with thousands of comments about things that have nothing to do with the person's arguments. Yeah, you can't expect everyone to do that. You know, and what you end up being left with when that sort of thing is allowed, when there is no moderation on a platform, the only thing that you can expect to be left with, mindset-wise, are people who, who also buy into the survival of the toughest kind of mindset. You know, and what, what's, what's funny, too, is Some of you will compare the type of bullying that some of these people receive for things that they have no control over. You'll compare that to just simply being called a bigot or a racist or a misogynist or a sexist or, or even a fascist. You, know, you, you talk about how those words that the left uses so often towards the, the people that they're arguing against, you claim that they don't hold much power. You know, you claim that it's like calling, uh, you know, the, the boy who cried wolf kind of thing. And yet, you still consider that to be bullying. He called me a, a racist. That's bullying. You're going to call that bullying? It's a statement about position someone holds. And you're going to call that bullying. But the left use it so much. And we hear it so often. So that means it's bullying? They're not saying anything about something that you have no control over. They're saying this about your position. Now, there is an argument to be made that when the right people, or you could say the wrong people, hear these declarations of racism or sexism or, you know, whatever, one of those words... When the right or wrong people hear it, it can affect your ability to get employment and such. True. True. You, you have a point there. But how often does it go to that extreme? Does it only go to that extreme after when you do get called that, then you decide to bully them some more? Until the only thing that they feel they have left to do is to try to report it to the authorities, so to speak, people that it will make a difference in hearing that uh, you're racist or sexist or misogynistic or, or uh, fascist or whatever. See, the left tends, tends to not use that survival of the toughest kind of mindset. They don't, they don't even want to be involved in that type of thing. They don't want to drop their morality in order to have a discussion with someone. So when they're cornered with all these insults for things that they have no control over, um, sometimes they react like a cornered raccoon. Yeah, they're going to figuratively kick you in the balls or figuratively poke your eyes in. 
they're going to figuratively do something that they know hurts. You know, maybe you shouldn't have this survival of the toughest kind of mindset. Maybe you should drop that a little bit. Maybe you shouldn't defend people constantly who treat people like utter shit. Maybe you shouldn't defend those that that continually make fun of people for things they have no control over. Maybe you shouldn't defend people continually who are trying to get trying to cause people as much pain as possible. Maybe you shouldn't defend that. I know you got your free speech absolutism going on, but uh, you know sometimes uh, there are, sometimes there are some repercussions for that kind of mindset. And let me be clear, it's not just people on the left who act like a cornered raccoon when they've been cornered. Let's take people like AIU, for instance, another free speech absolutist who says a lot of toxic things, who makes a lot of very toxic insults. And he will dox people and, and send people off to do... He'll, he'll literally send his minions off to, to do terrible things to people. And he's a free speech absolutist. So let me just make it clear, it's not just people on the left who do this. But you do find it a bit when people on the left are actually cornered. I mean, AIU wasn't cornered. He's not even cornered and he has this kind of behavior. Just saying. As I've said before, I, I, I don't think censorship is the right answer. But it is a reaction to this type of mindset. You know, some of you, you free speech absolutists think that it's a tragedy. It's just terrible if someone gets censored for saying that the Sandy Hook was a hoax. And yet you have no reaction at all to when someone gets bullied off of a platform. How does that work? You know, I think all types of censorship in that regard are bad. But I would honestly put it as worse when someone gets bullied off a platform. I think that's worse because it's usually a mindset that doesn't, that doesn't uh, have their say very often. It's usually someone who's too timid to really have their say. And if your belief is that people who are timid shouldn't have any had, shouldn't have a place in online discourse, I, I don't know what to tell you. Now I should say that this is only talking about online. If I'm talking about in person, at protests and demonstrations and things like that, then yes, many on the left are acting like bullies, especially Antifa. You know, someone gets bullied just for wearing a Trump hat. Now you can say, well, it's what everything that Trump hat stands for. And I'm like, yeah, but that doesn't mean that you get to bully them over it. Okay. Um, and, and maybe you can try to find some twisted way into claiming that's not bullying. But there's enough footage out there of this kind of behavior that, no, you, you can't claim that's not bullying. So I just want to make that perfectly clear as well. Just saying. 